Hey everybody, Chris from Inc. And today I want to show you a quick look at the new Facebook integration in iOS 6. So first thing I'm going to do is go down to uh, Facebook within settings. And as you can see here, there's a lot more information. So you have the ability of these various accounts to uh, essentially pull your information from Facebook and help you kind of work it into your daily life, um, be it calendar, be it the ability to like different things or share different things. Um, and this here in this little settings here, this is probably more familiar to you. Um, this, this is the standard one which was in the Facebook settings in iOS 5. So now back here you see like we've got App Store, Calendar, Contacts, Podcast, and iTunes. Now I also want to show you something here which is update all contacts. I'm not sure if you can read this but it says photo and usernames are automatically updated for Facebook friends. Choose update all contacts to temporarily provide Facebook with email addresses and phone numbers from your contacts to update photos and usernames for all matching contacts. Okay that was long to tell you that essentially what that's going to do is it's going to update your existing contacts with information from Facebook but it's also going to download and add contacts. So if you've got, say, an old high school girlfriend or boyfriend that's your friends with on Facebook and you don't want them in your contacts, you don't want to click on this button. Because what it's going to do is going to download their picture, any information that they have, contact information that is on Facebook. And like I said, if you don't want that information, for many people, they might have a lot of friends on Facebook that aren't friends that they want in their contact in their contacts. So anyway, it's here if you want a virtual Facebook phone, you can uh, select that setting. But what I want to show you is some of the deep integration with Facebook. So uh, I'm just going to open up Safari and I'm going to click on everything iCafe. And let's just click on this. So leaked shots show potential iPad mini chassis. So this is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to share that and we bring up this new sharing menu so now you have an option here now before you had an option to share this on Twitter but now you have an option to share it on Facebook now it brings up this super cool card where uh, it puts like a little paper clip and shows you the um, the website which you're sharing so uh, we're gonna be out we'll just sorry, check this out and you can add your location which really isn't relevant right now and you can also click on friends which will allow you to select a specific audience for this share so I'll just click this and voila uh, I'm not gonna go into my Facebook account but you have to trust me this will be posted to my timeline so or on my wall or somewhere on Facebook where my friends can read it so uh, that's how you share web pages now the process is very similar and pretty much the same. As you see here, I am in photos. I'm actually in my photo stream and this is a photo of my daughter who uh, just celebrated her first birthday. So just tap on the photo and once again, that little arrow which now shifts to the left hand side bottom. Click on it, select Facebook, and now you can type your message. Now I shared this photo yesterday so I'm not going to share it again. Um, and it shows here, see iOS photos. Now within Facebook it'll say shared via iOS. So I don't know if that gets you any uh, geek cred but I think it kind of does. So anyway really easy to share photos now within iOS 6 photos. So we've got uh, sharing websites, we've got sharing photos, let's share apps so I'm gonna to go to the App Store where are you App Store I've got 24 updates man I'm behind on updating my apps we'll do a search and it looks like we were already searching for everything I cafe now here we have the new App Store and once again they've moved that arrow up here why they move that arrow around, I mean, I guess it's because they have to have different elements uh, for different applications, but it is a bit annoying. Click on that arrow, and then you can share via Facebook. Now, this will bring up the card, and typically here, I think it's a little bit buggy, but typically here you'll see the app icon. Uh, it'll grab the name of the application, the developer, and um, also you can click on this to select your audience if you want to add your location. I'm going to click on cancel. Now, 
very similar to the App Store is iTunes. Uh, the ability to share music in iTunes. So, oh wow, I didn't know that the Killers had a new record out, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna share that with my friends on Facebook. And again, I don't know why, but this image is typically um, going to be there. So I'm gonna post this, and I have shared that to my wall on Facebook. So that's just a quick look at some of the deep integration that you're going to find within iOS 6 and some cool stuff. Uh, let me show you also the calendar. Now I showed you before how it was going to have the ability to pull calendars information in from Facebook. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Shira is actually a Facebook friend, so it shows her information, shows her birthday is on October 1st. Now I probably would not have that information. And now if you click here, you'll see this event. You'll see that the event uh, has a little bit of Facebook icon. It is a Farmingdale High School reunion. That's where I went to high school. Now I am not as old as this high school reunion so for some reason I've been tagged by the 1967 Farmingdale High School class but I am not part of it uh, but somehow I may be going who knows maybe I'll go and just be the youngest guy in the room which is pretty cool now this is just all information on these various people um, pretty cool like let's say I remember this guy Tux Bob which I don't you can click on his name and you can add him to a contact so some of the cool things that you can do within events um, within uh, with Facebook, Facebook integration in iOS 6. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you do, check us out, everythingicafe.com. Thanks.